Hi Taurus, so I'm here to do the second part of September's readings. Um, the first lot I did, if you go back, I did on the full moon, uh, so synchronicity wise, it's turned out qu quite cool. Doing these on the uh, new moon, the Virgo new moon. Uh, so I'll get manifesting uh, what you want, but get putting it out there, keep your thoughts positive. Um, I also want to thank everyone who's donated and taken part in my Facebook raffles uh, for the dogs in Bosnia. Um, that's something I really hold close to my heart and I am open and praying that my baby gets on that ship today or tomorrow uh, because I ended up adopting one myself. Um, we're calling him Mateus. The courier van that's supposed to take him to the ship I've just read has just broken down. Uh, so it's in, in the service thing. So please pray that that van works to get them to the ship. Um, and... I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Um, if you regularly watch my videos on YouTube, uh, on Facebook, um, could you please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment on the videos actually on YouTube? That would help me out loads. I'm really trying to manifest and trying to put myself out there a little bit, stepping out of my comfort zone, putting myself out there. Um, because Facebook's like my little safety net, you, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm putting myself out there now, so begin so i'm gonna go straight into september's uh energies for taurus i'm using the right of weight tarot deck i don't do uh based readings on certain aspects i do i go with whatever story i get so man we're always general um always check some moon rising and venus and what i will say is if this if you're a cross watcher and you don't like what i say put yourself in a, as a retrospect so watch it from your point of view um because it could be your story that i'm picking up it can be vice versa uh don't shoot the messenger i've had that happen but like i say if this if this message if this message isn't for you check your moon your rising or your venus they're all relevant so i'll start off with the rise of weight for the story i clarify with the witch's tarot and um, i get the advice and outcomes from the angel tarot deck so Taurus for the second part of September. Taurus for the second part of September. Taurus for the second part of September. So, overall energies, Knight of Cups. So, it looks like you're waiting on some kind of offer. It's like you're on pause, feeling like you're on standstill. Are you, are you supposed to offer yourself this cup? Uh, could be love, could be anything. It could be any type of offer, so let's have a look. Definitely could be finances. So, the situation is the Ace of Pentacles. So, you are in your energy. You are the Earth sign. So, the situation is, if it's finances, but there's a safety element as well. Am I safe? Am I secure? It, there's a need to feel safe and secure. That's the situation. The Hand of the Divine is telling you that you are protected. Whether it be finances, love, whatever. You are being protected. You've got the Hand of the Divine there giving you the Earth. So, they're keeping you grounded while you're going through what, what, whatever it is you're dealing with. So the challenge is the high priestess, which is the number 11. So the challenge is um, th illusions or things that you can't see. Um, you could be giving yourself illusions, you know, like seeing things that aren't there or doubts, self-doubts and things like that. could be information that's um, come to light. The high priestess is the secret keeper. She, she sheds light on secrets. Um, so something could have come to light, which is... Um, rattled your cage type thing made you feel insecure or um not safe you know grounded so why is this coming around now the ace of cups so it's about being happy it's coming around because they want you to be the happy you've got two aces starting here situation and why it's coming around so it could be love as well your emotions are all over the place but they want you to be happy the cup runneth over it's time for a peaceful laugh 
it's time to get what you want. You, you know, the high priestess could be the challenge could be to listen to your intuition in order to gain the love that you want and the the security and safety within a relationship or finances that you want. Recent past, the seven of wands. So feel the needing to justify yourself to yourself or to other people. De there's definitely a safety element. Um, safety, feeling insecure. You know, it's like always feeling on guard. Um, you, you could have had a turbulent past, feeling attacked and things. These people are beneath you. They're not even in the card. And um, if that's your own thoughts attacking yourself as well. Uh, but I feel like you've had to justify yourself and you've had to work to get to where you are now. And the universe is like saying, it's going to pay off. We've got two aces here. And it's about feeling secure and feeling loved. So recent past, uh, sorry, at present, we've got the seven of swords in reverse. So it's like almost you've woke up to what is draining you and you're not allowing it to drain you anymore. You could have been cheated on or felt like someone's betrayed you or something like that. You're kind of leaving that energy. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, you're starting to see the path for what it is um, and what it could actually lead towards. So something negative could turn out to be a blessing. Uh, you know, as I say, everything happens for a reason. And I feel like you're starting to see that now. Um, you just want to feel... There's definitely like a safe, safety, like an insecure type energy with this. Near future, we've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight ever. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you finally get there. Your power in this situation is the hangman. So it's to sit back, relax, <laughs> and do whatever you need to do. You will be receiving epiphanies, light bulb moments. And I think that's what you're doing now, realising actually everything they've done to me or everything these people have done to me in the past and things like that um or how i've been stealing my own destiny it's all happening for a reason it's going to work out better for me you're having them epiphany moments outside influences to that is the five of wands in reverse so they could have been battles they could have been uh squabbles they could have been uh, you know if it's about love they could have been you know it's, nitpicking at each other and things like that yeah you know walking on eggshells type of energy uh that's in reverse you don't want that anymore it's like you're not putting up with it something has woken something in you to the point that you just want to better yourself you just want to be happy you just want to better yourself and that is it and move forward your hopes and fears the night of swords is hope that you take action that things start to manifest quickly that you get out of this energy and you move forward quickly your outcome is the world so the world is open and the world is your eyes. So crack that shell open and get that pearl. So it's new beginnings, new cycles. You're starting new cycles. 2020 is the year of sowing the seeds. Maybe this is why you're meant to have these epiphanies now. So then you can start this brand new eight cycle because it lasts until 2028 on a positive. You know, and get out of this negative energy that feeling like you have to defend yourself or justify yourself all the time. Like, because you don't. You are your own person. You are in control of your own destiny. So why is the S Pentacles here as a situation? The Eight of Wands, communication. So there has been some kind of conversations or communication, letters, emails, um, spoken communication. I feel it's made you feel unsettled. Like the communication is not good. So, the challenge being the High Priestess, we've got Temperance, which is the card of Sagittarius, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or the, chal the challenge is to listen to your intuition in order to bring balance into the situation. So, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so the Ace of Cups, it's like falling in love with yourself. You thought this per you could have thought that this person was a soulmate. We've got the two of cups here. Um, you're not feeling in a happy. It's like you don't know where you stand. Are they? Are they my love? You know, because we've got the hangman in reverse. So you're questioning every thought you're having at the minute. You're questioning. Don't forget, your power is the hangman. So we're turning that we're turning that up right. But at the minute, you're questioning. 
your security or it does look like relationships friendships or partners um you know is there going to be a break or, or was there a freeway situation did someone betray you do you feel betrayed do you feel cheated on you know that's happening um and then we've got the two of cups it, it looks like you thought this person was your soulmate someone's done something or soul family you know the hand, the hand of the divine is coming in for a reason because balance needs to be restored, especially with it in emotions. You deserve you deserve the love that you you have to give. So the seven of wands in the recent past. What's this about? The five of pentacles. So feeling blocked out, feeling isolated, feeling yeah insecure, feeling like you don't belong, uh, having to justify yourself. Uh, it could definitely be finances, the blocking of finances, the things that you were going through could have been blocking finances as well. So, you know, like you could have been on a roll financially, you could have had to take time off work, but then that's just happened with the furlough and things like that. So you could have been fighting for, you know, the finances and things like that. But again, there could be someone that you've blocked out from the past or things that you've blocked out that have, you know, come back and re-triggered recently. And then we've got the Ten of Wands. It's caused a lot of burdens. You've been carrying burdens on your shoulders for that long. It's a wonder you're not hunched over. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's heavenly burdensome energy. Um, but you're coming out of that now because we've got the Seven of Swords in reverse. You're not putting up with that shit no more. Might just flip there. King of Pentacles in reverse. Reverse. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. So I've got Sagittarius. I've got Earth. So Virgo, Leo, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, but I feel like that's more you because the past has made you feel unstable. You know, this reading is all about grounding your energy and bringing you back. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Doing the self work. You know. Manifesting, writing your list for the new moon. Three of Pentacles. It, it's like working together as a team. Are you going to be part of this team or are you not? You, you know, it's. Um, I feel like you could be saying that to someone. And then Nine of Swords in reverse. So there could have been anxiety, depression in the past. Uh, you could have been really worrying um, about something. You're getting out of that head. You, you're getting out of that mental prison because you haven't done this to you. So you shouldn't need to keep suffering for that. You You... You're literally stopping people, like energy drainers, you're stopping it. Like I say, everything happens for a reason. Maybe you've had a wake-up call. So, near future, we've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We've got victory and success on top of that. So, we've got commitment. On top of that, we've got the 11-11 and the Two of Cups. So... If you're not with your soulmate now which is showing us also Twin Flame, you soon will be. Because it's it's like, it's, it's like you're going to be rewarded for doing the work, for putting the healthy boundaries up. So you could have been in abusive relationships in the past and you've done the work and you're realising that is not me, that version, this is me now. So you are not allowing it to drain you because that, that wasn't your actions. You cannot control someone else's actions, but you can control your, rea your own reactions. How long are you going to suffer because of someone else's past actions you know near future you've got victory and success you're on the road to happiness there's a, there's a happy couple there working together nicely we've got the completion of a pro, uh, project we've got a happiness abundance happy home life there could be relocation we could have a couple moving but we've got a couple working together 11 11 which has been granted november could be significant as well so the hangman being your power is to make your own wishes granted so these epiphanies and light bulbs are coming in for a reason. These light bulb moments are coming in for a reason. We've got the sign of Aquarius here as well. Uh, so January, February could be significant as well. Um, but it's about be bringing balance back to a situation. You've got the power to do that. Outside influences. So we've got the Page of Cups and the Two of Swords. So we've got the Five of Swords in reverse, like arguments, drama and stuff like that. Outside influences, blindfolded. So someone else, someone around in this situation could be being blindfolded on guard. And I think that's why I'll get in the security, like feeling insecure and stuff like that. And then we've got the page of cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign or it could be like immature energy. You know, someone's someone's gone into immature energy. 
I feel like you're just not willing to put up with it. The Eight of Swords in reverse, you, you're escaping something. You're escaping something where you feel stuck in order to be happy. The Sun card. It's like your happiness is, you're gunning for your happiness now. So maybe you were people pleasing. Um, I, I was a natural people pleaser. I know I was. Um, and you end up trauma bonded to those type of people. Um, and situations, you know, feeling like you can't leave situations and stuff like that. It's all about your happiness. It's all about doing what's best for you. You've got one life, how you going to live it? Well, until you get reincarnated, but you're not going to remember this all. Unless you start going to cash it records, but we won't go there. So, the outcome being the world. Five of Swords in reverse. So, that is getting out of the head fuck situation. That is making decisions and moving forward. Yeah, two of Pentacles in reverse. No juggling, no making no, no decisions. Like, you, bound, you are focused. You're focusing on your security. Love it. Upping your boundaries. Wounded warrior. So you have been through some wounds and you're carrying it forward, but you've, you've still got fat in you. And then you're in your element. You're taking control. You are taking control and looking after you. You could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Page of Swords. So watching, spying, uh, you know, you could, do, you could start doing really well, you know. We could have someone watching you know we've got devil in reverse though so you're beating your own demons i think you're slaying your own demons there you're slaying your own demons because you're gunning for your happiness what makes you happy so let's get some advice from the angel tarot the nine of earth so if it is about finances we've got the nine of earth enjoying life's little luxury spending quite time alone successful self-employment so you could be deciding to leave a relationship or you could be deciding. So it's definitely relocation. So we could have a couple moving or we could have you moving away from somebody, a relationship, or you moving like premises, like business-wise. Um, I'm definitely getting relocation. Um, spending quite time alone. You need more headspace time. Ooh, too many. Not taking them. Ten of water, a content and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs being met in a trustworthy relationship. So your trustworthy relationship is right there. That's everything we all want in a person. And then these came out. So we've got ego. A false sense of entrapment, negative or fear-based thoughts. So that's the devil within you. You know, the devil thought you could be dealing with Capcom. But again, like I said, you're slaying your own demons. We've got the ego there in reverse. So it's like taking that mask off and seeing it for what it is. Ego keeps us safe. It's time to step out of that, you know, make yourself feel safe. There's definitely a safety issue going on here. Um, you are not trapped in a situation. If you're in a relationship that you're feeling trapped, I, th I do feel like you might be venturing out because there's better in the future. And then we've got justice. Which is your karma, okay? Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. So it's telling you, stand up for yourself. Cuss out anything that no longer serves you in order to restore balance to a situation. But justice is on your side. So if, even if there's a legal situation, but well, I think the justice is karmic, it's karma. The justice card is karma. So October could uh, be significant. October, November, with the justice card being there. I'm going October, November, but let's see where we go with that. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, bye.